had a great Australia Day. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, we went out on the river and had a few few drinks, and uh, it was a it was great weather here in Perth. Uh, but look, uh, it's very cold in the United Kingdom, and I take my hat off to the boys over there at the moment. They've been very committed. Uh, they have you know basically going into into the strand. They've had to go back to the courts. They've had to uh, work with the case manager, and here it is. Uh, we simply have successfully filed uh, in the High Court of London, uh, which is a case precedent, I might add, uh, and hasn't uh, certainly been uh, done before, certainly not uh, with a senator of uh, uh, a, a sort of an elected senator of parliament. And I have to honestly say an elected senator because, look, I have to really uh, be upfront with all my constituents and certainly the people of Australia. Uh, I was not duly elected. Uh, with the evidence that we have now put before the courts, uh, I was not duly elected as a senator, and that's part of the reason why I'm really not trying to uh, make my way back to the parliament until the parliament is, um, uh, in a sense, uh, has a quo rento uh, put on it. Uh, that should show your authority and make sure that uh, you're sitting with authority and Certainly uh, with the 1988 Constitutional Report, which is the foundation of our application, and how our Senate, uh, Federal Senate, and certainly our courts have gone rogue in Australia. And I, and I say that uh, because that's, uh, you know, that's the whole reason why we've had to, to go over to the United Kingdom. I, you know, I'll be the first um, elected senator, and even if I was a duly elected senator, to be thrown out of Parliament by a court not sitting as a court of disputed returns uh, and certainly a court that was not sitting with a valid referral uh, from the House. And that's not only the, um, not a, that's the Federal Court and of course look at the High Court uh, where it uh, referred to the Act, uh, re removed the words must and put may, so took out a command and put a right that I could have been subject to sentencing over a key. And that's something that, uh, you know, you can attack you can attack uh, my money, but don't ever attack uh, my constitution, my inbuilt constitution, and don't ever attack uh, my IP, which is, is my credibility and how I present myself as a person uh, out in the public. So look, uh, so I'll just grab my glasses back again, but um, here it is here. Uh, it's um, all the documents uh, have been filed and validly served on uh, the High Commissioner of London, uh, George Henry Brandis, um, and we now have written to the Queen. Uh, look, I, I put the letter of the Queen up on Facebook and I, had, I was really disappointed that I had certain people uh, make attack. On that, uh, on on Her Majesty, I, I think. Look, this has got nothing to do with personalities. Uh, Australia, everyone. This is a constitutional correction. We put our argument up. You put your argument. Up. You may believe this. They may believe that. They may believe the Queen is doing this. They may be doing whatever the case. It's time for Australia to come forward and actually tease it out and say, where is our real law? Because at the end of the day, I go to court, I witness people who have their whole lives, their hard life earnings destroyed. I, when I was in parliament, you know, we had young strapping Australian lads coming in and 21 of those were, were committing suicide through the family court a week. You know, we need to say, you know, we have a judiciary system in Australia, but we don't have a judicature. And that is the whole point. The whole system has, uh, you know, has basically, like I said before, the tail shafts come off the diff. You know, we've got all these politicians. Politicians remind me of a ski boat, you know, with no prop. They're all, all noise and uh, all they do is drift through the water. So the point is we've got a prop, we've, we're doing it, we're taking it down and um, we're getting it done. We've gone to London because London is the jurisdiction of the Crown and that Crown is binding on us. It's a law, UK law, and it's amazing. You know, I went to the High Commissioner for Britain the other day and I actually qualified to become, a, a, for a British passport, even though I'm third and fourth generation born Australian, uh, because under the Immigration Act, we are one country. So, you know, this now begs the question why all those senators that were 
were from British descent, uh, where they said was swearing allegiance to a foreign power, which is in contravention to the Constitution, 16 and 34, 2 or 4 or something. Um, that's not a foreign power, it's our law. So these are things that uh, need to be put forward and we need to address. So look, I, I ask all Australians, it's about being Australian, okay? We must go in the same direction, put your differences aside, you know, and, and, and don't, you know, I welcome people to the GAP page. We welcome, it's, it's a public forum. It's about uh, having free speech and whatever, but please, you know, be measured. You don't need to attack because you know what? You're not actually right. You may be right, but until this is done, we'll know. So, you know, it's everyone's very powerful uh, behind the scenes, but we want we want a prop put on the shaft so you can make the, ve the the vessel go forward, and that's what we need to do. So, that's what we're doing. So, I um, also like to thank the people that have uh, contributed to the GoFundMe. I, I think a lot more of Australian people can uh, contribute. Uh, we're putting a lot of time and a lot of effort. And if we don't do it this time, I, I don't believe, or well, it'll be a very, very long time and we may never ever have the opportunity of doing it again. And uh, especially now with the Queen in her later years, uh, we need to make sure that we run this home because Australia needs to be fixed. We're too young, we're a great nation. We're now coming into the biggest commodity boom in all, you know, we've got rich minerals and that's the new qualifying financial system that's gonna go right around the world. And we're so well placed, you know, with our lithium and and our and our extractable uh, extractable um, uh, commodities, and certainly our agriculture commodities, and we need to make sure that Australia remains with Australians, and that we have control of our own destiny. And at the moment, we have a we have a foreign parliament that uh, is basically um, is running running different to to what our constitution is. So, so like I said, it's gone rogue. So we need to fix that up. So look, please keep contributing. We're not asking people to foot the bill. What we're asking is to make it affordable. You know, it just helps. Please contribute. Keep our guys in the UK because the only way we'll lose this, I believe, is if we run out of money. So uh, it's it's not cheap, it's expensive, but it's worth the fight. And I want to do it because I'm a proud Australian and I want to do it for my constituents. Thank you very much and uh, God bless.